These Cincinnati Bengals make it all the way to the Super Bowl for the first time since 1988. And can the Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes continue their dominance of the AFC and win yet another AFC championship? And finally, how you are going to get paid to watch this one. Let's get it. This is Enough Said Sports. Hey guys, I hope all is well in your world. It is all well here at Enough Said Sports as we come to you with another NFL preview and prediction video here on YouTube. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day or your evening to join us here on YouTube and support us. Welcome to all of those who uh, are, are not familiar with us. It's first time watching. We are Enough Said Sports where we don't do fandom, we do business, and where we don't make friends, we make money. Appreciate, again, all the support here. Definitely going to be talking about this this amazing matchup for the AFC Championship game. This is our time of year. We are the best at what we do at this time of the year, so I'm so looking forward to previewing this game with you guys. And, again, if you like this sort of content, please also join us on Patreon. Click the first link in the description box below. Become a true fan of Enough Said Sports and get all of our exclusive content from the NFL, NBA, and college football. And we're actually adding MLB and college basketball as well to that mix here very shortly. So we're very excited to be announcing that. And that announcement will be coming here officially in the next few days. Now, let's talk about this matchup that's going to be coming on on Sunday, January the 30th at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on CBS. You have the Cincinnati Bengals traveling to play the Kansas City Chiefs for the AFC Championship and the right to represent the AFC in the biggest game of them all, the Super Bowl. The, the spread in this particular contest is the Kansas City Chiefs are actually favored by seven, and the total in this one is 54 and a half. So let's first talk about the surprising, and maybe not surprising to the Cincinnati fans, but surprising to most people here that watch the National Football League that maybe aren't Cincinnati fans, that, that the Cincinnati Bengals are here. In this spot, it's such a surprise. It's such a pleasant surprise. I am a huge fan of Joe Burrow. I'm a huge fan of Jamar Chase. I'm a huge fan of this team in general, and I love to see them relevant yet again for the first time really since 1988. I know they had several playoff appearances with Marvin Lewis, but they weren't able to get over the hump and actually win any of those games. Uh, however, they're, they're relevant right now, and it's so great to see it, and I really, really like this team a lot. And the question that, that I posed at the top of the video, can the Cincinnati Bengals do the impossible and get back to the Super Bowl for the first time since 1988? I'm going to say they got a shot. There ain't no doubt about that. They definitely have a really potent offense. The thing that concerns me about this team is the O-line, but I'll get into that here in a little bit. But other than that, man, this is a great team, great story. They have a tremendous quarterback. Jamar Chase is a tremendous player, and I believe that this Cincinnati Bengals team is legit. And I'm really, really excited to see this contest unfold between them and Kansas City. Switching over to the other side, the Kansas City Chiefs, more of the same. They've been dominant in the AFC now for the past few years. And they are, are continuing to flex that muscle as they find themselves back in the AFC Championship game again. So it's really, really exciting to see this for the Kansas City Chiefs. Patrick Mahomes and the crew, they're unbelievable at what they do, obviously. Great, great team. Uh, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see how they're, how they're, this particular matchup is going to unfold. But I'm going to get into that here in just a little bit. But definitely a big-time shout-out goes out to Patrick Mahomes for his performance against the Buffalo Bills. They were fortunate. They won the toss, and they were able to, to get the victory. Also, Andy Reid doing a tremendous job offensively. But yet again, that old bugaboo, this, this defense is really – uh, leaves a lot to be desired for this Kansas City Chiefs team, but hey, you can't you can't have everything, I guess. So that's how I look at that and uh, look at this opportunity for the Kansas City Chiefs going into uh, possibly another Super Bowl appearance. So how do we see this thing unfolding, guys? And and this is this is where my my saying that I always say here at this channel: we don't do fandom, we do business, guys. I'm gonna tell you, my heart. I would absolutely love to see the Cincinnati Bengals get there. Uh, I would love to see Houday Nation uh, get, make an appearance in the Super Bowl. I think it would be a tremendous story, and I really, really like this young team. However, 
there's some problems when you break this team down and you break down uh, the 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 you know the analytics of it all, and then also with the film watching, which which is why I'm just now getting this video out on Wednesday. Uh, here, I wanted to get it out sooner, but I really did took the extra time to really study this this matchup, and particularly very very closely. So this is what I found, guys. First of all, the biggest concern for both of these teams is their defense. The Kansas City Chiefs are are really terrible defensively, especially against the pass. They're ranked 27th in the league against the pass, and this Cincinnati Bengals team is extremely potent offensively, especially in the passing game. Now, on the other side of that, the Cincinnati Bengals are also atrocious against the pass. They're 26th in the league against the pass as well. And as you all know, the Kansas City Chiefs are tremendously gifted offensively and again, Patrick Mahomes is tremendously gifted throwing the football down the football field. So this is going to be a game of an extremely high scoring game, okay, because both teams are going to have a hard time stopping the other. The difference is this, though. I'll say from a uh, from a schematic standpoint, the Chiefs do have the edge here because they do have some strengths in the defensive line. They've got Chris Jones up front. They've got Clark on the edge. And I think with, with that, those two pieces right there are going to cause Cincinnati a tremendous amount of problems. And I think it's going to be really hard for the Cincinnati Bengals team to try to hold the Kansas City Chiefs down to, low enough in order for them to win the football game. Now, with that being said, though, guys, so from a betting standpoint, so let's get into that. Seven points here is too many. It's, it's way too many, especially in a game like this. The Kansas City Chiefs are not going to come out here and blow this Cincinnati Bengals team out. That will not happen. This is going to still be a tremendously close game. I just believe in the end of the day, it's going to be really, really difficult for the Cincinnati Bengals to try and stop the Kansas City Chiefs enough because here's the reality. Joe Burrow can't take nine sacks in this game. If they take nine sacks in this game, they will lose this game badly. Now, I don't think they're going to take nine. Joe Burrow is going to take nine sacks in this game. I do think he's going to, they're going to get to him a few times. I think they're going to get about four sacks in this game and really stop some drives and things of that nature. But I, like I said, though, guys, I don't believe, I don't believe that this Cincinnati Bengals team is going to lose by seven points. OK, so I'll take Cincinnati plus seven here and I also take Kansas City to win on the money line. And then in addition to that, I also like the over here big time. I really like the over 54 and a half in this particular contest. You got two defenses again that's going to really struggle against the other. I think the weather is going to be clear for the most part, it looks like. So I think it's just going to be really cold, but they'll be able to throw that throw that thing around the yard. And whether whether they had weather conditions or not, as good as gifted as these teams are offensively and throwing the football in particular, I think I think they're going to be able to have their way trying to throw the football anyway. So regardless of all that, guys, that's what I got. I got Cincinnati plus seven. I got Kansas City to win on the money line, and I got this thing going over 54 and a half. I think this is going to be an extremely high-scoring football game. I like it around 35 to 31, somewhere in that neighborhood. I think that's about what you're going to get here, and it might even go into the 40s. But I'll take Kansas City, 35, 31. They're going to advance on to yet another Super Bowl where they will face. Well, you'll have to see my next video in order to see who they're going to actually face. So with all that being said, guys, thanks as always. I really appreciate all the support. Please let me know uh, if you have any questions about anything, any comments, anything like that. Let me know below, Cincinnati Bengals fans. What's up? Is it is it your time? Kansas City Chiefs fans, do you agree with me? Is it your time to go back to the Super Bowl yet again? And finally, let me know what you think about the pick itself. We've had a really, really good season. Uh, definitely. A solid season. We had a three, 314 victories to 222 losses. Not too bad in the National Football League. We'll take that. We'll always look to grow and get better. But uh, overall, it's been a great season. But like I said, guys, this this time of year, it's our time. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna take it and run with it, and uh, we're gonna take this opportunity and, and try to maximize our money. So appreciate all the support, and I will talk to you again soon, guys. Take care and have a great and wonderful week. See you.